learn Zillion. I think I got all that right, right? You got it now. So a couple of caveats as I am about to show you. What I'm showing you is the working draft of the part that the unit that I am currently working on. They don't have a, they weren't able to give me the full demo version just yet. So this is something that is supposed to be coming out in August. I will make sure to tweet it out when everything, start, when, when everything goes live. So when I show you the stuff in Learn Zillion, so just please remember, it's not been made pretty. I'm not good at pretty. They are good. They, they have some, they have the really good math artists that are making things great. So here you go. So I am a Learn Zillion Dream Team teacher. If, if you don't, if you're not familiar with Learn Zillion, the website, I especially for the K8 materials, they do have the K8 math curriculum that's completely free with videos and tasks and practice. And they're they're always in refinement. They call it polishing the stone. So they're always polishing the stone. So here's the website. It's Learn Zillion, and you just do LearnZillion.com. So. Uh, part of the project this summer has been working on what they call guided collaborative tasks, and they're working on K-8 math. So, yes, kindergartner all the way through eighth grade. They've got with the K through two, they will be adding voiceovers with anything that could be read. So they'll have like videos that go with those. But I'm not working on the K-2. I've been working on six and um, two of the couple of the units in sixth and seventh grade. So this is a grade six task, and it's one of the geometry tasks. It lists all the standards up here. There's an about, and so when you log in with your free teacher account, this is the kind, and you find the lesson that you want, this is like the information that you would see. And so there'll be vocabulary, it gets into the math practice and stuff. So and then there's the lesson plan. In the teacher facing view, the teacher view gets all the teaching notes, and then you can like hit the next card and it'll show you what they're working on and it tells you about the card. And the guided collaborative task, it's intended for a teacher to be able to have students work in pairs with one device or possibly two devices. But generally the idea is for most teachers, they're probably going to have two students to one device because that's what they're what that's what's available for them. So here's just the teacher stuff. And so teaching notes, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in assignment preview so that you can see what it'll look like for the students. You log in, students, when you give students a code, much like we do Desmos activities, you give the students the code, they log in with the code. And this is the assignment preview. So a student will see the very first card, and this is a interactive question. So they'd be able to click on their answer to the question, click down here, and then I believe it'll, if it's a setup, it'll tell them if they're right or wrong at some point, or the teacher at least will be able to see what the students answer. On, on every guided collaborative task, there will be this interactive math tool. So I, I will have, this is a GeoGebra interactive. And so, and there will actually, in my task, there will be a picture there placed into the tool so that the students can draw on top of the image. Uh, they're still working on it, so it's unfortunately not there yet. And then you, they can click the next card and it gives them directions for getting started. So there's a pre, there's what we call the launch. So, gets, so they have a launch question. To, and this is intended to take two to three minutes max with each pair of students. And then they get started on the task. And this is where the teacher will back off and hopefully maybe give a little instruction. The students start working on the task. So here I've got each partner will find the area of two shapes. So this is the, this will have like a park layout. And then they work through the where they work through the directions. This gives more detailed instruction, so this is an each one pick one kind of strategy where partner A works on finding an area, partner B works on finding an area. And then they will collaborate, then they will call, they will enter their answers. And again, this should be telling the student, this will end up telling the students that they're right or wrong. And then they will collaborate and take turn, they will basically turn and talk and explain their strategies to each other and they can label the area on the geometry drawing tool. And then they have some practice questions to work with. And or actually this is the final part of the task. They work together to find the total area using addition and subtraction methods. It's like, I wish I, this one had the image in, but unfortunately. And then here's a close, they have closing statements and we're in the process. And then they have three practice questions that they can either work on solo or they can work on together. The questions are des designed to be very similar to the task question. You can see my not pretty art that I have placed as placeholders in for, for this one. So yes, my very, <laughs> that, yeah. And then like here's an isosceles trapezoid and then they have like what are some expressions for representing the area. 
So I will tweet it out when things go fully live, but I'm encouraging you to look, check out LearnZillion. It's one of my favorite websites, especially for the K-8 math. It's, oh, it's always one of those, I wish there were more for high school that had free curriculums, but we're getting there. So that's it.